Today, we will show you how to upgrade and pair your Teradek Bolt Pro wireless transmitters using the Bolt 1.2 firmware utility. Before we start, you will need a few items. Your Teradek bolts, a paperclip, a monitor and video cable for your receiver, power for your bolts, USB to mini USB cable, and a computer with a pairing utility. Download the utility free from our website. Once downloaded, open the software. First, let's update our Bolt transmitter. Today, we have an SDI Bolt Pro. The process is similar with HDMI bolts. Select your transmitter type. Click Update Bolt. Connect power and mini USB to the Bolt transmitter. The other end of the USB should be plugged into your computer. Before turning it on, Notice the LED between the two SDI connectors. This indicator light will help us identify the correct status of the bolt. While holding the reset button, move the power switch to on. The LED should be blinking at about one blink per second. Click Next. We already have 1.2 installed, but let's install it again. Once complete, turn the device off. Now, hold the reset button while turning the bolt switch on. Keep the button held for 5 seconds or until the LED blinks rapidly. Release the reset button and click Next. This next step will take at least 1 minute. Now, click Done. Turn off the transmitter, unplug power, and unplug the USB. Now, let's update the Bolt receiver. Run the application. Select your receiver type. Connect the mini USB to Bolt. While holding the reset button, connect power. Again, we will look at the LED for confirmation on the status of the unit. The LED should start blinking at about one blink per second. Release the reset button and click Next. Click Next once again to update the video module. Once complete, disconnect the power to Bolt. And to be safe, disconnect the USB. Then reconnect. Hold the reset button while plugging in the power. Keep the button held down for 5 seconds or until the LED blinks rapidly. As before, Look at the LED for feedback. Continue with the update. We are now updating the radio. This should take at least a minute. When the upgrade is successful, click Done. Unplug the USB and power. Your transmitter and receiver are now updated with 1.2 firmware. The next step is to pair the units. Reopen the Bolt utility. Select your receiver type and click Pair. Step 1. Make sure your transmitter and receiver are both off. Step 2. Connect the mini USB to the receiver. While holding the reset button, plug in the power cable to the receiver. You will see the LED blinking. Release the button and connect the video output to your monitor. Note, you will not get video in the monitor at this point. Now click Pair Bolt. This will disconnect the receiver from any previous pairing. Notice the characteristics of the video output. At this point, confirm that press button on bolt transmitter for 5 seconds is displayed. Now, let's pair the transmitter. Turn on the transmitter. Wait until the left LED is blinking. Using a paperclip, press the button inside the antenna cap. Hold it for at least 5 seconds until adding bolt Press OK to continue. Once detected, the receiver will confirm the serial number of your transmitter. Click OK. We recommend to have the transmitter and receiver to be at least 6 feet away from each other for optimal pairing. Your units have now been paired, but let's confirm the pairing. Turn off the transmitter. Unplug the USB and power from the receiver. Then. Plug the USB back in and hold down on the reset button. Now, insert the power. 
Once again, the LED will blink as so. Click Confirm Pair. Your LED will become a solid light. This confirms the pairing process. For further or advanced technical support, visit support.teradec.com. For more information about Teradec, visit teradec.com.